Hey, you guys, it's your girl Aquila coming straight at you from Deaverville. My mind, my thoughts. Um, I know it's really, really hot um, tonight, you guys, and um, yeah, we're all going through it. Here in New York City, the, the weather is like uh, 95 degrees, and then it rained. So once it rained, it made it a little hotter. But nevertheless, I'm still here so that we can get on with this show. The title of my show tonight is da, da, da. So the title of my show tonight is Why are what are we jealous of? Okay. What are we jealous of? Let me start before I start the show to say um yesterday I had the opportunity yesterday to hang out with some really, really great people yesterday. Um the thing about the people that I hung out with yesterday, everybody has their own thing that they're doing. Everybody is into something different. Um, if you, I, I, I even put it on my, um, on my page. It was a little video, and it was women empowering each other. So if you watched it, one was my daughter, where she just got her master's degree. One was my niece, who has two businesses as of now. She's um, exploring with Asia. And she's also doing uh, like a, a, a therapy type couple relationship type thing. Her mom, which is my sister, cousin, whatever you want to call her, she's out there and she's getting herself together health wise. We had Monique there. She wrote a book and she has other books that she's also writing. We had my other one, my other cousin friend, uh, Willette. Willette has her own business and it's called the blessing box. And then we have my other cousin, Charmaine, and what she does is she makes baskets for, dish for different occasions. I say this to say, we were all there together with each other and nobody felt guilty or felt funny about the other person. A lot of people, they act like, hey Deidre, how are you? Hey Dolores, how are you? Thank you, Deirdre. I know that you did watch it and you did comment on it. Everybody has something different going on, but at the same time, we still have time for each other. We still support each other. We still help each other. There's not a problem with it. There's not a, a there, there's no animosity or anything involved with it. Some people feel that when you're doing, when if they're doing something, they can't help anybody else. Some people have it that, if you're doing something, you can't do anything better than me. So you know what? I'm going to hate on that because, you know, it's not what I'm doing. But yesterday, how you doing, Dolores? Yesterday, it proved that, hold on, you guys. I want to give everybody a chance. It proved yesterday that it can be done because we all hung out with each other the entire day. And what we did, hey, Cynthia, how are you? And what we did yesterday was we went to this place and it was called the Rose Mansion. And in this Rose Mansion, what it was, um, it was a wine tasting place. So in this place, you got a chance to meet with a lot of different people and you got a chance to see a lot of different things going on. But the thing about it, it was mostly women that was in it, but there was nobody fighting with each other, nobody arguing, nobody complaining. That was one of the reasons why I felt it was a good occasion. And then it sort of like blended in with my show. So speaking of my show, let me get started. But I do want to give a shout out to my girls. So let's start with looks. People have a tendency of being jealous over how someone looks. Um, when they're jealous over how someone looks, the way they portray it is they talk about this person. Oh, look at her. She's ugly. Look at her. She's dark. Look at her. She's this. She's that. Why would you be jealous over how a person looks? We have no control over how we look. You know what I'm saying to you? So why would you be jealous of how a person looks? When that person get up in the morning, you don't know what that person is feeling themselves or what they have to go through to get themselves in that place to feel comfortable. But for you to be jealous or hate on a person because of the way they look is something wrong with it. 
People like to say to me, and I like to use myself as an example. People like to say stuff to me like, um, you don't look as old as you say you are. Well, first of all, you don't know how old I am. Second of all, age is just a number. And third of all, how are you supposed to look at a certain age? I like to say that if we didn't have numbers where people had to be concerned with like ages and stuff like that, nobody would worry about anything. But everybody's on this thing, right? Okay, you're this age, you're this age, so you're supposed to look like this, you're supposed to look like that. But you know what? I didn't get the memo. Thanks, Dolores. I didn't get the memo about what I'm supposed to look like, so I got my own thing going on. I mean, be it right or be it wrong, I got my own thing going on. Do I get jealous of what other people look like? No. If I see somebody that looks nice, I'm going to ask and compliment that person. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it doesn't affect me one way or another. But me being jealous, technically, it makes that person look better than me. Because it takes a lot to be jealous or hate on a person for something that's stupid. So with me, I don't worry about that one. Another thing that I would say that people um, – people get jealous of is, say, your house. People have a problem with what your house looks like. Okay, this is what I say about that. When people buy furniture, to me, it's like buying clothes. Hey, Antoinette, how are you? Let me put you up here so people can see. This is Antoinette. Um, when people buy furniture and stuff, to me, it's like buying clothes. You buy what you like. Everybody is not going to like what you like. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't come to a person and say, I don't like this. I don't like that. Is it jealous? Are you upset because they got this furniture and the furniture is actually nice and you can't get it? You buy what you want, you get what you want. Understand what I'm saying to you? So you can't hate on another person for what they have because you don't have it. And I think people try to make people feel bad about what they have. And that's a sense of jealousy, too, because I want you to feel bad because I don't have it. Oh, that's ugly. That's messed up. Why did you get that color? It doesn't match. It doesn't match your living room. But this is what I want. Antoinette. Hold on, honey. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. Antoinette, my cousin Cynthia said hello to you. <laughs> so houses and stuff. So you got a big house. This person got a small house. You can't be jealous of what this person has. Oh, his house is bigger than mine. But you get what you can afford. Maybe that person could afford a bigger house. Maybe that person could afford a mansion. Maybe all you can afford at this time is an apartment or a small one-family house. But instead of you being jealous and hating on that person, what you do, you level up. You get yourself together. So therefore, you can get the same person that they're up, the same thing that person has if you want it but the thing is you can't be jealous of that person because of what they have I, i've seen people right with different kind of cars oh man you got that car that's my dream car this is your dream car but you went out and you bought something else you either bought out you either bought what you wanted or you bought what you could afford so you can't be jealous or upset what that next person has because you had that same option Cynthia, Antoinette said hello to you also. <laughs> I like the way you guys come in with Divaville and you guys are like regulars, which I love that. And you guys actually communicate with each other. Hey, Ann, how are you? I'm glad you're not working tonight. You guys share so we can, we can get into this right here and talk about it. But people, they are jealous of how you look, how you dress, where you live, and what you have. The thing that people don't realize when they're, when they're jealous of all these material things, is they don't realize what you have to go through to get it. People think that you said, you know what, I want a car, so I'm going to just go and pick up that car. People don't realize that you got to save. If you don't save, you got to finance. You got to pay bills behind it. You don't just have this stuff, and people don't understand that. So you jealous of what? You jealous of a bill? Why? I mean, if this is something that, that, that you want, Antoinette says, why should people compete with each other? Antoinette, that's a good question. 
Why do people have to compete with each other? It's because of jealousy. I don't care what you have and how much somebody else has. The minute you get something, they want what you have. Why do they want what you have? I don't know. People don't, like I said, they don't take into consideration what it takes for you to get what you have. But this is what they want to do. Uh, <laughs> Cynthia said, they can have all my bills. But for some reason, when people see you out there, you doing stuff, people think you don't have bills. You don't have responsibility. You don't have any of that. It just comes, and that's just the way it is. People don't realize you have to work for stuff. You can't be jealous of somebody goes out and gets something before you do. Because if you want it, like I said, level up. Get yourself in a position where you can get it. If you know that you can't get a car because you got bad credit, fix your credit so you can get a car. If you want to get a house and you know that your budget only fit, oh, it only allows you to get a certain size home, don't get mad with the next person. Get yourself together. Hold on, you guys. I like to give everybody a share. Okay. So, hey, Lynette, how are you? Lynette said, many of us don't understand finance. And because you don't understand finance, you're 100% right, Lynette. That's why they become jealous. People don't realize that you have to work. They don't realize that every time you get paid, you don't have to go hanging out. You don't have to go shopping. You got to put something away for a rainy day. If it's something that you want, you have to actually put that money to the side so that you can save for it. You know, you 100% right, Lynette. People, does, they do not understand finances. A good example is people think, some people think that if you get a credit card, you got free money. You don't have free money. You can go in the store and pick and pick up whatever you want, but there's going to be a bill coming in 30 days. And if you don't pay today, you got to definitely have to pay tomorrow. But people get jealous because, oh, my God, you got a credit card? How did you get that credit card? Well, I got the credit card, and in 30 days, I just made a purchase, and I'm going to have to pay this credit card. They don't realize that just because you walk into the store and you get this credit card, they don't realize that uh, later on, it's not going to be the same way because once that credit card is gone, you still have to pay that bill. Sometimes the item that, that you might have purchased may have already worn out and everything before that bill is paid. But people are mad with you and jealous because of what you have. And they don't realize, you know what? They don't even have this no more. Hold on, you guys. I got a new person. Hold on. Let me let, let me um clear this up first. Okay. Da, da, da. So, uh, Latoya Jamison Haywood. Hello, how are you? She said, you got work and you have good money, man. She's exactly right. You have to work and you have to have good money management. The thing is, people are so busy worried about what's going on in the next person's backyard, they can't even get their own stuff together. Lynette, I mean, hold on, you guys. Well, let's say logged in, might get booted off, but I'm listening. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Willette. Thank you. Um, money management. Because you have poor money management skills, that's why a lot of people, they don't have. And what they do, they like to blame other people. They like to make other people feel bad because they don't have what they're supposed to have or what they want because they're so busy trying to compete against the next person. Dolores said, I experienced people when I was a smoker tried to come and smoke in my house and smoke and they waited until they went to the bathroom to light a cigarette, didn't smoke when they had company and had no ashtray. So you know what they, so you know that went. See, again, jealousy. What is jealousy and why are we jealous of other people? Why are we so quick to want to take from other people? Hold on, you guys. This, this is so sweet tonight. Hey, Joan, how are you? Why are we so quick to want to take from other people? We don't want to go out and get on our own. We want to always take from somebody else. And then that's where the jealousy comes in because you can't have what you want or what someone else has. Now you want to hate on that person and be jealous. You want to make that person feel bad because of what they have. Um, let me take this so I can go to my next point. Family. 
you have people that are actually jealous of you and your family. You can be in a family where your family is very close. Hold on. Let me hide this right here so I can put this up. And said, this is very true. You can be in a family that is very close and people will hate on you because you are close with your family. Every time I turn around, you talking to your cousin. Every time I turn around, you hanging out with your cousins. You got time for your cousins, but you don't have time for me. Why? Okay. Everybody, every, everybody's family life is different. Thank you, Latoya. Everybody's family life is different. Don't hate or judge another family life. In your family life, you may have a lot of chaos, a lot of problems and stuff going on in your family. But you may look over here and this person may not have that same chaos or problem. Or they may have that same problem that you have, but when they come out in front of people, they know how to like, you know, bring it down so everybody don't know what's in their business. Now people are jealous of you because of the type of family that you have. You cannot be jealous of a person's family because you don't really know what's going on. Only thing you know is what they let you see. When I think of a family life also, I think of like, there's people that have um, kids with different fathers or whatever the case may be. And they may be jealous of how, put it like this right here. I wanna, I wanna make this simple. Say that there, there's a woman that she has kids and then her kids are not being taken care of the way they should be. Hey, Wilhelmina, how are you? And I'm glad that you enjoyed the show. Um, they may not be taken care of the way that they should be, but then you see this other guy, he takes care of his kids perfectly. He's always there for the kids, always taking the kids out and stuff. Now, what woman doesn't want this for their kids? You know what I'm saying? So then when they see this, you think that there's not some sense of jealousy? I'm here with you. I don't have no kids with you, but those are my kids and I'm taking care of my kids. So you think that there's not some sort of jealousy that rolls up in there? Of course, because everybody wants what somebody else got. Regardless of how they got it, everybody wants what somebody else has. They don't care how you got it. They don't care if you had to work. They don't care what you had to do. They don't care about what problems that you had to go through with it. You got it. You look happy. And this is what I want. Everybody's family is not perfect. And because of that, you can't say, I want my family to be like that. My family, I love my family. <laughs> and I know some of my family are here. And we have a big family, you know what I'm saying? So when our family union comes around, this year, it's up to number 65. So for 65 years, we've been getting together to have a family reunion. To me, I say it's a blessing because again, there are so many families, the only time they get together is when there's a funeral. Other than that, they don't get together. My family, we get together every year. We have a family reunion. We have all different types of things going on, but we are all together. So people say, you guys do that every year? My family, we don't do that. Why do y'all do that? Okay, you do what your family do, and let us do what our family do because you can't compare apples to oranges. This is my, this is Willette. I love you too, Willette. Um, you can't compare apples to oranges. The thing about my family is we take in everybody. Everybody who wants a family, come join my family because we love everybody and we take everybody in. Do we have problems? Do we fuss? Do we fight? Of course, but everybody do. But at the same time, I love you too, Wilhelmina. I mean, I'm sorry, Wilma, and I hope that I'm gonna see you at the family reunion. Do we fight? Yes. But when we, when we go out in public, we know how to pull it together. And the thing about my family, and it's probably like everybody else's family too, we fight with each other, but we also fight with each other. So it's, it's a big difference. So you wanna be in a family like that, you can be, but you have to work on it. We don't always have good days. We have bad days too, but we love each other as a family. Another thing that people become jealous of, I'm so hot, you guys, is a job. People are jealous because you have a job. 
Oh, do I? Let me do this. Cynthia says, I'm coming to see you this game. Come, come. I'll let you know when I'm there so you can come see me. I would love to see you. I would love to see you. Come hang out with us. A job. Now, as hard as a person work on their job, how can somebody be jealous of a job? People say stuff like, oh, she thinks she all that because she got a job. I don't think I'm I don't think that I'm all that because I have a job. Because if I had a choice that I didn't have to work, I would not work. But people look at you coming back and forth from work. You guys see it. You guys, you guys work. You come home, you see your neighbors and stuff outside, and they give you the side eye like this. You know what I'm saying? Or they say stupid stuff to you like, where you coming from? Where you think you're coming from? You know what I'm saying? Well, people get jealous because you have a job. But they don't realize because of that job, all the other things that they're jealous of that you have, you're able to have because you can support yourself. You can take care of yourself, but people, they don't see that. So it's like, okay, you got a job. So what you got a job? Okay, you want to get jealous and be mad on me because I have a job, but at the same time, when I see you, you're asking me, can I borrow some money? You're going to be jealous of me or we're going to be friends? What is going to be? Because we can't do both. So I always say to myself, why? What, what, what are you jealous of? How can people be jealous of you? For what reason can people be jealous of you? People are jealous of you because you are, because you accomplish things. I mentioned at the beginning of the show, me and my me and my girls, my cousins, my sisters, we all we were all hanging out yesterday. And like I said, if you guys saw on my um on my page, I have like a little video, and Willette was talking about the different things that everybody was doing. And you know the good thing about it is that, hey Brittany. How are you, honey? Hold up. Brittany said, my neighbors are jealous of us, and it's sad that we can't just live, live in peace. Now, Brittany's my niece, you guys, and uh, mainly because we are a young. Okay. I got. I, let me take off her comments. I could put her other comment. I want you guys to see this right here. So, Brittany, you guys know Brittany. Brittany's my niece, and she said that her neighbors are jealous of her and her husband. Okay. They've been together over 10 years. They have two kids and they are young and they are homeowners. How can you hate on them? You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying this just because she's my niece. I'm going to say it just because I can say it because my mind, my thought. People would like to see Brittany out there without having, without having, without being with her kid's father. They would like to see Britney out there with three and four baby daddies. They would like to see Britney hanging out in the street, hanging out, doing all sorts of things. But because she's not doing that, now it's a problem. Now you want to get in your feelings because my niece is married, has her kids, and she has her kids by the same father. They are homeowners. Do they work to become homeowners? Yes, they did. Did they have a little help? If they did, that's their business. Well, they work to get to where they are. And they're not asking anybody for anything. How could you be jealous and hate on them? How? She works. He works. She has she, she has a, a nine to five, but then she also has a business on the side. So does he. So you see them coming in and out with their kids. And I'm quite sure they're not giving anybody too much conversation. But Brittany, like her aunt, she's just like, you know. <laughs> but hold on, Brittany. Cynthia said, "Let me take it off. Make sure you can see it." Cynthia said, "Congratulations, Brittany." But the the thing is, this right here, people want to see you do bad. Nobody want to see you do good. And when you do good for yourself, and people see that you can do good, they become jealous. They become hateful. They do spiteful things and everything like that. Cynthia, she said, "Thank you." Willette says, hold on. Willette, Willette, Willette said, celebrate each other's goals and wins. To me, to me, a winner on a team is when everybody is eating. If it's only one person in your team is eating or two people in your team, you got a team of, two, of 10 people. If only two of you are eating and the other eight is not eating, you're not a winner. Because to become a winner, everybody in your circle have to eat. 
Everybody in your circle has to be growing. Everybody in your circle has to be doing something, okay? You can't call yourself a boss, call yourself a winner, and everybody, every, everybody is not on the same page. This is why a lot of people lose their friends and stuff because I uh, use Brittany as an example because we were talking about her. Because of what she's doing, because of what she's accomplished, I'm quite sure that she has some friends and stuff out there who don't like that. I'm quite sure that she has some friends and stuff out there that talk about her because it's jealousy. Um, Antoinette says some people don't want you to do better than them. Nobody wants you to do better than them, Antoinette. But the thing about it is you don't want me to do better than you. But at the same time, you don't want to escalate and do better than me. You'd rather see me do bad than to see yourself do good. And that's where that jealousy comes in at. You know, you're not supposed to do better than me. You're not supposed to work a full-time job. You're not supposed to have your business on the side. You're not supposed to have a man. You, you, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. But why? Why can't we all just be happy for each other? If somebody does something big, I'm happy for them. Like Willette, Willette has some business to bless him, but I'm so happy for Willette. Anytime I get to support her and do whatever I can for her, I do it because I don't have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? My niece, Brittany, she's in North Carolina. She has her own business and stuff. Am I jealous of her? Absolutely not. When she posts stuff, you know what I do? I share it. Why do I share? Because I'm happy for her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hate on her and block my blessing because I'm going to act like an idiot. Her husband has his own business. I share his too. Why? Because it makes me a better person. For you to hate on somebody for something that they have and you're not trying to do any better, you're not trying to accomplish, you're, try you're not trying to get anything, what kind of person are you? I mean, I don't know. May may maybe it's just me. But me, I can't hate on anybody. I, I, I can't. Willette says to me, Thank you very much. Well, you know I'll support you, and I'll go all the way, honey. You know us, that's just the way it is. And I got to say this right here. The thing about Willette, right, Willette and I are doing two different things, right? Even though we're, we're doing two different things, we can still bounce off each other to help each other because we both want, the, we both want each other to succeed. There's no need for no... For, for jealousy or anything like that. Um, relationships. Oh, I'm sweating, you guys. Relationships. People find people find reasons to be jealous of your relationship, whether you're dating somebody, whether you're married, whatever the case may be. People find a reason to be jealous of it. <clears throat> in a marriage, what well, people don't realize that every day in a marriage is not going to be perfect. Every day in a, in a relationship is not going to be perfect. But every time people see you, you got a smile on your face. So they figure, you know what? They got the perfect relationship. They don't have no problems whatsoever. But what they don't realize is what happens behind closed doors. You jealous of something that you don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? I could be in a relationship that when I bring my husband in the house, I could tie him to the chair with a belt or a rope and not let him get up. You know, I, you don't know what I'm doing to him when he comes in. Or he could be taking me and strapping me up on the chandelier. You don't know what's going on. So how can you be jealous of a relationship when you don't know what's going on? Only thing that you know is what people let you see. My husband and I, we've been together for years. And every time we walk outside, we still smiling. We still laughing. We still holding hands. I had somebody, to, I, I, this girl that um, I saw maybe a couple of weeks ago, and she was like, hey, cool, I haven't seen you in a long time ago. You still look the same. I'm like, okay, thank you, thank you. You still with that same guy that, that you was with before? Uh, yeah. Wow, you still with him? And, I, and I'm saying to myself, why do you say it like that? I mean, you know nothing about him, nothing about me, no more than you see us in and out. But why would you say it like that? Like, why are you still with it? Don't be jealous. You know what I'm saying? Don't be jealous. Because, like, everybody thinks that the grass is greener on the other side, but the grass is not always greener on the other side. Stop hating on people unnecessarily. People, people are jealous of how other people feel about you.
the way other people treat you. When people, when people don't like you, they don't want anybody else to like you either. So what they do when they see somebody that genuinely cares for you, someone who genuinely likes you, what they try to do is come in between and mess it up. Oh, you know this person did this, this person did that. Why are you with this person? Why are you with that person? People don't like to see you happy. And if they don't like you, they don't want anybody else to like you. And I, and I have a, a thing that I tell people. Hold on, you guys. Cynthia says, I lost my husband after 25 years, but it took, it took hard work and commitment to each other. Let me tell you something. It is going to take hard work and commitment. And what people don't realize, people think that the minute you have a, an a, a argument or a disagreement, you're supposed to get up and leave. No, no. A relationship is not good until you become uncomfortable. Meaning until things start to get crazy, that's when you can tell what type of relationship that you're in. But people don't understand that. And because they don't understand that, they want to hate. Cynthia, you was with your husband for 25 years. And I'm quite sure behind closed doors, because you related to me, I'm quite sure there was some furniture moving, there was some yelling and some screaming. But when you guys walked out, you guys formed a united front and nobody understood or knew what was going on in your house. And that's the way it should be. But people are still jealous because of what happened. And now, uh, even though your husband is not there, they're still jealous. And now they still don't know why they're jealous. And the thing, the thing that people don't realize is once stuff happens like this, like you like you losing your husband and everything, people should say, then you sit and you say to yourself, what were you jealous of? And they can't tell you what they were jealous of. Um, Cynthia said, yes, girl, smiling all the time. You have to, because one thing, you don't let people know what's going on in your house. When people know what's going on in your house, they use it against you. If they want to be jealous, let them be jealous. Like I said, people, if they don't like you, they have a tendency of not wanting anybody else to like you. I just told somebody just the other day, if you want to hate me, I'm fine with it. I mean, there's a lot of people that hate me, so it, it's okay. It, it's, it, trust me, I tell you, it's okay. But my thing is, if you're going to hate me, hate me on your own merit. Don't hate me on something somebody else told you. Hate me on your own merit. And I know for myself, the type of person that I am, a lot of people like to be around me because of the type of person I am. I know that I'm the type of person that make people happy, that make people laugh. That's just me. Uh, it's, I don't even know what to tell you anymore. I don't know what to tell you guys. But I will tell you this. Let me see that I go through all of my stuff first before I tell you what I want to tell you. Um, let me see. Yes. I left off one. People get jealous because of the way, too, of how you carry yourself. I carry myself like a lady at all times. And said always, we always show. And I don't think you fin you you finish your thought. You say always, we always show a. Oh yeah, and I understand. I, I, I'm finishing your sentence. Always, always show a smile on your face. You never let people know what's going on in your life. Um, people don't like the way you carry yourself. I was saying I carry myself as a lady at all times. Now because I carry myself as a lady doesn't mean that I can't you know be grimy and ratchet too, but I choose not to. So people don't like that. So when people are jealous, they'll say, you uppity, uh, you, you're conceited, you're this, that, and the other. I'm none of that. I'm just myself. Antoinette said, your personality draws people to you. Thank you. And it does. But I'm not conceited. I'm not uppity. I'm not some Tommy. I'm none of that. If you guys know me, you know that I'm going to be the same person all the time. I don't put on fronts. I don't put on airs. I don't pretend. I'm not jealous. Only thing I'm jealous of is somebody with a flat stomach because that's what I want. That's the only thing I'm jealous of. But then I think about it. They got a flat stomach, but what are, what are their health issues that make them have that flat stomach? So when you jealous of people for different stuff like that, you need to stop and think, well, is this a natural thing? What causes them to be like this or what causes them to look like that? You got to think about that because me, I'm not jealous of anybody. I don't compare myself to anybody. I don't, um, 
I don't want to be like anybody else. I just want to be me. That's it. And all of you guys should be the same, should be the exact same way. Deirdre says, when people ask, how am I doing? I tell them amazing. Because Deirdre, you have to tell them that you're amazing. Why? Because people are always looking for something wrong to be happening. Something to give them something to talk about. And that's the last thing you want to do to give people something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Because if you want to talk about me, the only thing that you're going to say about me is I saw her and she was laughing and she was smiling. I don't front. I don't pretend. If I don't like you, I don't like you. If I do like you, I do like you. But you're not going to have to wonder because you're going to know. Hey, Norman, how are you? You're not going to have to wonder about it because you're, you're going to actually know. I'm not going to talk about you. I'm not going to um, tell people things about you. I'm not going to do anything because I, I feel that jealousy is an emotion that's really, really, really bad. And it's, it's, it's detrimental because jealousy can make you do so many things that you wouldn't normally do. Jealousy can put you in a place in your mind that makes you crazy. You ever seen people that get jealous? And they go out and they try to hurt other people because they are jealous of what this person is doing or what this person has. You don't have to be like that. You can just, just be yourself. You don't have to be jealous of nobody. Be yourself, love yourself, embrace yourself, take care of who you are. And if you have friends or loved ones, anybody out there that's doing something, support them. You know what I'm saying? Help them to get to wherever they want to be because you know what? It makes you a better person. It makes you look like a better person. Like I said, my girl Willette, I can call her. I can ask her questions. We can talk to each other. And it doesn't affect either one of us. Because me helping somebody else, it does not destroy what I have. So I'm going to bring this to an end because I don't want nobody to get jealous because I'm talking too much. <laughs> but like I always say, you guys, I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for riding with me. Um, all good things must come to an end. So with that being said, you guys know what I need for you to do. I need for you guys to, if you haven't already done this, and tell your friends to go to YouTube and subscribe to Diva Village so that you can watch the shows and stuff. The most recent shows are the ones that's mostly there, but I want you guys to go there and watch them. Leave comments, good, bad, and indifference, leave comments. Um, not only that, I want you guys to go to my merchandise, which is demaka.bandcap.com. I have a podcast there where you can download um, shows and stuff so that you can listen to it. You can order my merchandise and everything there too. Um, ooh, it's so hot. Uh, I need for you guys. I need for you guys to also, I'm sorry, you guys, it's so hot. Hey, Betty, how are you? I need you guys also to um, help me collect emails, you guys. I need emails. I need to send out stuff about Divaville. I need to make this big. I need to make this right here a cause. We have a cause for everything else, but I need to have a cause where we as people can uplift and help each other. This is what I need you guys to do. I need for you guys to send me emails. Inbox them. Don't put them on the timeline. Inbox them to me. You know what I'm saying? emails to your friends and stuff so that I can send out stuff so that I can build up my, my mailing list and so that I'll be able to give more things to you guys. Okay? Go to Divaville. Um, subscribe to, the, to, to my YouTube. Go to um, Bandcamp. What? Demarca.bandcamp.com I want you guys to download the podcast. I want you guys to order the merchandise. And as hot as it is now, if you, are, if you don't have one of these right here, I feel sorry for you. These things right here, you fill them up with ice. You put it away. You have to put just fill it, up, fill it up with ice, fill it up with water, and drink it, and the water stays cold. This is my best friend <laughs> right here. Um, Divaville shirts. You guys can still get the Divaville shirts. You can still rock those for a while and everything, too. And the most important thing of all, tune in every Sunday night at 8.30 to find out what's going on in my mind. Thank you guys. Love you guys. I'll be back next weekend. And if there's anybody that has a show that they want me to talk about or want to come on to the show, please reach out to me, okay? 
Love you guys. Good night. Oh, hold on. Antoinette says, she says, okay, I will collect my friend's emails and send it to you. Yes, Antoinette. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And hold on. And Anne said, let's do this, people. Yes. Let's make a statement. Let's make a movement. The more people that we have, the bigger and better things are going to be. And you guys are going to be so excited to see what's coming. So make sure you go to, let me put this up here so you guys can see it. Make sure you go to right here, Diva Village. That's my YouTube, Diva Village. Comments, good, bad, and indifferent. Subscribe. I need emails, and I also need subscribers on, my, on that YouTube. Okay, you guys? Love you. Good night.